Good morning students. Today we are going to look at the heat module. We will do some topics of the heat module. The module is on page 119 of the prescribed textbook. These are the topics that we will cover. We will look at heat and temperature, the, some of the measuring instruments that are used to measure temperature, and then we have done a video already on the propagation of heat. You can just check it out on the channel. We, have, we will look at physical effects of heat, what happens when heat is taken away or added into a substance. Then we will look at heat capacity and specific heat capacity. The last topic for this module will be linear expansion. Let us look at heat and temperature. When we finish this topic, you will be able to distinguish between heat and temperature. What is heat and what is temperature? Okay. The key thing to take note of here is that heat is not temperature and temperature is not heat. They are very different. Okay. So what is heat? Heat is a form of energy, as we have already studied in the previous module. That heat is one of the uh, energies that we listed in that module. So heat is a form of energy, and heat, because heat is energy, it is measured in joules. Just remember that the joules, you must uh, use a capital letter J to denote joules. Okay. So the, the joules will tell you how much heat energy a body has. If it says 100 joules or 100 kilojoules or 100 megajoules, it tells you how much heat a body has. However, temperature is not heat. What temperature is, it's basically the indication of the degree of heat. It indicates the degree of heat. Now, science tells us that all matter contains a certain amount of heat in it. Now, temperature is what will tell you how intense is the heat contained in matter. It indicates the heat intensity of the body as basically the hotness or the coldness of the body. But temperature is not heat. So temperature does not tell you how much heat a body has, but it tells you on that heat that a body has, how intense is it? Okay, so we've already established, established that science says that all matter contains a certain amount of it. And the best example to explain that would be if you look at ice tubes and the tap water. The reason we put ice tubes into the tap water is to cool the tap water down. Because tap water contains more heat than the ice tubes. So what happens is when you put the ice tubes into the tap water, the tap water, uh, the, the, the ice tubes absorb heat from the tap water and they melt down. So then you end up with ice cold water. That indicates that there was a certain amount of heat in the tap water, even though we won't say that tap water is hot, but there is a certain amount of heat in all matter. So what temperature does, it indicates how intense is that heat. So you might have a substance with a very high intensity of heat, which will be high temperature, or another substance might have a very low intensity of heat, and that will be low temperature. So temperature basically indicates the degree of heat. It indicates the heat intensity of the body, or you can say it's the hotness or coldness of the body. And there are two ways we can measure temperature. Temperature can be measured in degrees Celsius or in Kelvins. So we are familiar with degrees Celsius. The Kelvins is actually called the thermodynamic scale. It's normally used in industries or in furnaces where you have very high temperatures. Then we will measure in Kelvins. But for domestic use, we will measure in, in, in degrees Celsius. You need to be able to convert degrees Celsius to Kelvins and vice versa. Take note that a zero degrees Celsius is equivalent to 273 Kelvins. So just take note of that. And that is illustrated on page 124, figure 5.10, that the degrees Celsius uh, zero degrees Celsius is equivalent to 273 kelvins. 
So you must be able to convert degrees Celsius to Kelvins and Kelvins to degrees Celsius. Okay, so if you have degrees Celsius and you want kel Kelvins, you simply add 273 on the value that you have for degrees Celsius. And if you want Kelvins, you have degrees Celsius, you simply subtract 273 from the Kelvins, then it, become, it, be, it, be, it becomes degrees Celsius, it becomes Kelvins. Okay, it becomes degrees Celsius. Okay, thank you.